Well, good evening everybody and welcome to our service of uh, Compline or Night Prayer uh, in Holy Week. Um, just a little bit about <coughs> this particular service. Um, Compline was part of the uh, seven or eightfold uh, pattern of prayer that you found in the monastic communities and was part of the rule of uh, St Benedict. And if you've ever spent any time in uh, a monastic uh, community um, or possibly even listen to church music you'll be familiar uh, with um, some of those um, songs and chants that come from the various services. Um, the order during the monastic day began with matins which was normally at 2am. Uh, of course many of us are used to following that <coughs> on a Sunday morning having a matin service but not at 2am. The next service would be Lourdes and that was at, uh, said at dawn. Uh, the following service after that would be um, Prime which was normally said at early morning and then at mid-morning there would be Terse followed by Sext at um, midday. Mid-afternoon was Non and then Vespers or evening prayer round about uh, six o'clock. Um, Compline uh, would traditionally happen round about seven uh, or sometimes a little bit later at nine o'clock and um, Compline in a sense means the completion of the day's work and uh, it would be after this uh, service <coughs> that in monasteries and even today throughout the country and the world the greater silence would occur which was that after this service um, there would be no talking and everybody would go into silence and even if you weren't retiring to your own sort of cell or chamber um, to sleep. Um, there would be silence in the monastery uh, until the, cy the cycle of prayer uh, began uh, again the following day. Uh, so that's a little bit of the order of where Compline um, fits in. Um, I hope you've got your order of service. Uh, if not, please do just listen. Uh, we do sing this little hymn here. Um, I'll sing it. Uh, if you can join in and want to, then um, please do so. Um, good evening, Annie and Mike. Good evening, John. Good evening, um, Jenny. So let us pray. <clears throat> the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we us be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. So we now come to the psalm, which is Psalm 4, which we'll say together, and we'll just pause shortly at the asterisks. Answer me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble, 
have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So the reading for Compline is normally always just a small, short reading. And it's uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning to read at verse 24. Do you not know that in a race the runners all compete, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win it. Athletes exercise self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath but we an imperishable one. So I do not run aimlessly, nor do I box as though beating the air, but I punish my body and enslave it, so that after proclaiming to others, I myself should not be disqualified. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reflection. So we join in the responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. So we join together in saying the Gospel canticle, the Nunc Dimittis. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in his peace. So a few prayers for this evening. 
Heavenly Father, as this day draws to a close, we give thanks for all that we have been able to accomplish during this day. We have prayed for the pe we pray for the people that we have had contact with, be it our own families in our homes, or those we have spoken to on the telephone or on the internet. We pray, Lord, <clears throat> as the moon rises and the evening comes, for all of those for whom tonight will be a busy night. We pray especially for all of those working in our hospitals, our doctors, nurses and auxiliary staff. And we pray especially this evening for all of those who are fighting the coronavirus, for those who are ill at home or those ill in hospital. And we remember especially our Prime Minister at this time. We pray, Lord, for our families and friends and for those for whom we are separated from at this time. And we pray that this night may bring peace, blessing, rest and refreshment. We pray, Lord, for the communities in which we live. And we pray especially for our communities of Handley, of Gossage and Andrew, of Wood Yates and of Pentridge and all of those who live there, that they may have a peaceful night. And finally, we pray, Lord, as we see the dawn tomorrow morning and the sunrise and the bird song, that our, too our hearts may rise and even in this time of trial may be filled with the joy of life as we seek to do your will and service. We remember too for whom those who have come to their end of their earthly pilgrimage and we pray for Kathleen, pray for her children, especially Chris at this time and we give thanks for her life. Lord, we offer all of these prayers to you in Jesus' name. The Collect. Visit, Lord, we pray this place, and drive far from it all the snares of evil. Let your holy angels dwell here to keep us in peace, and may your blessing be upon us evermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us, the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us his peace. Amen. So that uh, brings us to the end of Compline of Night Prayer. Uh, thank you all of you who have um, been able to join me uh, this evening for Night Prayer. Um, if you've just logged on and you've missed the beginning then um, uh, I'll be loading this up to YouTube uh, very shortly um, so that you can uh, look at it. Um, but uh, may the Lord's blessing be upon you all and your families at this time. And I hope you have a restful night and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. God bless. <laughs>